Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we're going to be taking a look at all the news from that live stream we just went and had. You see, the Glimwood Tangle Galarian research just happened. There was a 24-hour live stream from the Glimwood Tangle, and yeah, it's a new... Forest, I suppose, which is going to be in the Gala region over in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And it is always dark, whether it is day or night. And the Pokemon company went and set up a 24-hour live stream where we could sit and wait for Pokemon. Was it worth watching the entire 24 hours? Did we get a constant stream of new Pokemon? Well, the answer is maybe and oh my goodness, no. However, the lovely Joe from Cerebi.net, who I think we all owe a bit of a gratitude to today, did go ahead and watch the entire 24-hour live stream and is therefore able to give us all of the details, all of the news, all of the stuff that was shown. So big up to Joe. What did we learn? And let's start with the biggest news. We're getting Galarian Ponyta. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Now they teased it for a little while. Here's a picture of it peeking out from behind a mushroom. Here is a picture of Impy Dimp, who did actually come and breathe on the camera to obscure it. And then, you know, it kind of ran past. Here's a picture of it peeking out from the right. We even had a shadow at one point. We were teased for quite some time, although eagle-eared listeners would have noticed that it was actually the Ponyta cry that they could hear. That's incidentally how we know for certain it is Ponyta and not just a weird new kind of Pokemon. The fact that it is, you know, we, we heard the cry. We heard the Ponyta cry. It's Galarian Ponyta. It finally got revealed. We finally got some nice clear images. And we actually had two Galarian Ponyta running around. Which was very lovely. And they played around for a bit and they went away and, and that was it. That was the big reveal from the Galarian livestream. Was, hey, there's a new kind of Ponyta. Which is cool and all. Just, just want to say 24 hour live stream. Now, Pokemon have not released an official announcement about this. The official website has not been updated. Now, we did have a message from Sonia, who is, of course, the research assistant who's helping out a grand in the Gala region, which says, We saw some interesting Pokemon, didn't we? I'll collect everyone's reports and create a summary for my grand soon. Thanks for the help. What that's basically saying is. We are going to get an update to the official website, at which point we're going to get a whole bunch of new information, it's going to be explained, etc. But for the time being, in the short term, what you get is what you saw on the live stream. Okay, I'm kind of alright with this. But of course it does lead to the fairly obvious question. So what do we actually see on the live stream? Well... The good news is we got some fairly clear images of the Galarian Ponyta and we can have a little bit of a gander and go, all right, in what ways is it different to regular Ponyta? And I think probably the biggest difference is it is a unicorn rather than a horse. Regular Ponyta don't have no horn. Galarian Ponyta totally has a horn. Now, of course, we have had a unicorn Pokemon before. It's Caldeo. Caldeo is very much the unicorn Pokemon. Although, let's be clear, Rapidash is, um... I mean, look, Rapidash is a unicorn, right? You need only look at Rapidash to see the little bit of a horn there. So, I think it's fair to say, yeah... Now, to be fair, Caldeo is officially the cult Pokemon. So, you know, if you're into that specific kind of horse. And Rapidash is the fire horse Pokemon. Neither of them are called unicorns, but then again, unicorns are mythical creatures. Maybe wouldn't happen. I don't really know. The point is, this is very much a unicorn rather than a traditional horse. And like I say, Rapidash, the evolved version of Ponyta, always had the horn in the first place. 
Now you've got the horn before you get the evolution rolling. We also get leg warmers. Like actual leg warmers around each of the hooves. Which is, um, cool? I think it's the right word to use. And then a proper job, bright, fluffy mane. Like proper, bright, fluffy mane. The mane is significantly more elaborate than it is for regular pony tar. I think it's fair to assume. So rather than just having a fire, we've got the mane. Now that, of course, leads us to the issue of typing. As far as I'm aware, and please correct me in the comment section if something changes, but we've not actually been given a bunch of information about Galarian Ponytar. We've not been told about typing. As far as I'm concerned, it's a unicorn, which basically looks like it's made of half candy floss. It's going to be a fairy type. If you ask me for a secondary typing, I'm going to go ahead and assume flying, because, you know, unicorns, that would be cool, wouldn't it? But as far as I'm concerned, we're seeing a fairy type here. I will be very, very surprised if it turns out we have anything here other than a fairy type. And that's essentially Galarian Ponytar in a nutshell. Has a horn, has leg warmers, has a white body, just like the old one did. And we've got a big candy floss pink and white mane. I'm colorblind, so if I get the colors wrong, don't hate me. Rather than your traditional kind of fire. Now, Galarian Rapidash was not shown, but we're going to be getting a Galarian form. Now, sometimes, if you look at, say, Pikachu and Alolan Raichu from back in Gen 7, we do get a new evolved form without getting a new, well, a, a new unevolved form. But let's be clear about this. The special Galarian and Alolan forms that were unevolved evolve into new Galarian forms. Take something like Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Ninetales, for instance. One evolves into the other. So, yeah, I, I think it's fair to assume here that there is going to be a Galarian Rapidash. And the lovely Joe from Cerebi.net over on Cerebi.net did note that we did hear a Rapidash when the camera went black. Expect that to be discovered in the not-too-distant future. The last word I have on Galarian Ponytar, why does this one not have a tail? There's two of them here, one of them doesn't have a tail. Is that a mistake? Probably not. This was a meticulously put together live stream. So does that mean that some have tails, some don't? Could it be the male and female Galarian Ponytar? Could it be some kind of lore within the game? I honestly don't know. It's going to be fun finding out. Now, the other quote-unquote new Pokemon that we got was Impidimp. Now, he was shown kind of walking around. We got this lovely shot of him with his back to the camera, and then he came all up in our faces. The thing is, Impidimp isn't new. Impidimp was featured in the demo that we saw at E3. So, it's, it's not exactly like we've never seen Impidimp before. This is the first time it's really been acknowledged. But let's be clear, Impidimp is, is not a new Pokemon. What do we know about Impidimp? Well, again, because it was in the demo, we got some information. We know that it is a dark fairy type. And we know that it can learn Assurance, Sucker Punch, and play rough. That's what we know. I love Impidimp. I love the design of Impidimp. I like that he was very mischievous as he was running around, kind of steaming up the camera right before a Galarian Ponytar ran past, obscuring the camera, etc. That was kind of cool. So we got Impidimp, and don't get me wrong, it was lovely seeing Impidimp. It was cool seeing him wander around, but obviously it's not a new Pokemon. It was featured in an official demo. So although Impidimp has been kept off of the official Pokemon website up to now, let's be clear, this was not a reveal. Impidimp was revealed at E3. It was just revealed in a very coy manner. Now, the only other new news that we got was we got confirmation of three slash four Pokemon that are going to be in Sword and Shield that we didn't know before. Because obviously we don't have the full Pokedex in Sword and Shield. We don't have a full national Pokedex, at least not yet. So there is some question as to which Pokemon will and will not be featured in the game. In the live stream, we saw Morlul. 
Which means we know we're getting Shine Notic, but good news, Shine Notic was shown as well. We were also shown Phantom. We were not shown Trevenant. But it would be super weird if Phantom was in the game but unable to evolve. Weird to the point that that is definitely not happening. So we can assume that Trevenant will be in the game as well. Trevenant was not technically confirmed for Sword and Shield. But by putting Phantom in the stream, it, it was confirmed. So there we go. We were shown a new Galarian Ponytar, and again, because of the cry, we know that it is Ponytar and not a quote-unquote new Pokemon. We were shown Impidimp, who we'd seen before, and Shinotic, Morlull, and Phantom, a by extension Trevenant, were confirmed for Sword and Shield. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Was it worth a 24-hour livestream? I enjoyed having it on in the background pretty much the entire time when I wasn't sleeping. But I'd like to know what you thought about it, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, or you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Plays, where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.